All right, so Tens also gave some insight into Shroud signing. I wanted to watch the full clip and give my own opinions on it. Let's take a look. Like a lot of a lot of like CS players, they'll have a pretty easy time like going into into Valorant. It, like if they already know Valorant and know the abilities and stuff, then there's a lot less for them to learn and like give them like a few weeks and they can easily play like really well. And uh Thank you, uh, Billowall, for the five dollars. But yeah, it, it was a it was an opportunity that was given to us. Uh, we needed a smokes player, and yeah, like nothing nothing else really to say. Like he he's insane. He's already really good at the game without like actually playing it all the time and like like competing at um like a pro level. He's already like really good at the game and like nobody can like take that away. Like. He is really fucking good. So a lot of uh, uh, players do not agree with this, that Shroud is going to have a good time in esports, that he's going to carry. Uh, he's obviously a streamer and he retired and best of luck to Shroud. This logic would sound like two years ago when Valorant started. It doesn't hold up when you compare Shroud to numerous pros who grind the game, have shown high skills, but aren't in LCQ. Like Shroud was a pro CS pro recently, he was a pro five years ago, so he has a lot of catching up to do. But that we shall see when he joins Sentinels and when he plays his first game. Uh, he wasn't like that especially good. Sentinels doing the cloud move for media impressions instead of signing who actually could help the team. They would never. Uh, part of me does fully agree with everything you said, but I also think it could be a good pick. Regardless, I think, you know, um, Tens has some opinions on this and Tens has some uh, great points there. And a lot of people don't think, you know... Uh, that Shroud can adapt, but I personally think Shroud can adapt and, and he will become stronger. Um, so, you know, who knows? One thing that bothers me is the turning into a player roster. Thieves, 100 Thieves, where players are the ones picking and dropping players instead of Grandmaster or, um, sorry, uh, GM and staff and making those decisions for them. So, right now, there's a lot of player rosters, but I think, you know, Shroud could prove himself when we finally see uh, Shroud basically uh going in and having some competitive wins what do you guys think about this let me know down in the comments below uh if you want more content like this be sure to smash that like button for more valor competitive i'll keep you guys updated but tens you know has some right facts he has been in the pro scene for over two years now um and that's what's really important until next time peace everyone